Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are going to start working on some basic expressions on the bears. Now we did, whew, hang in there, we did four different ways to do eyes. Nothing crazy. Basically, you know, just like very, very basic um, to another easy way to do eyes. And we stepped it up a little and we added a little more detail using different tools and things like that. Now the plan is to kind of do our best to add an expression, right? In the simplest form, stepping it up just a little bit and then doing a little more detail. Now, the only problem we really run into is the fact that the heads are already cut and we've already put the eyes in. So that means we can't get super crazy because like sometimes you can carve and have an eyebrow higher or lower or like for example the snout you could leave more of it over here so he has a snarl going or a smile um basically i'm going to just go with the flow and see what i can carve out of like this piece with just the chainsaw that piece mostly chainsaw maybe one tool and then we'll get into power tools with these two and honestly i'd like to probably do another video kind of like finishing these guys with fur patterns like using just the chainsaw to sort of round things off and put a fur pattern in um, mostly chainsaw and then some power tools to do two different other designs that'll probably be the next video after this now if you guys are like I don't even know how to get a bear here it's all right check it out I've got a full beginner tutorial playlist and I have a full tutorial playlist walking you through carving up like your first bear or even more advanced ones and if you guys are still here give me a thumbs up hit subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you guys think and uh, let's start making some sawdust all right, so we got the camera on the shoulder, camera on the saw. This bear, we're gonna go ahead and use the chainsaw to try and do an expression. Um, basically, I'm just gonna start cutting and I'll probably voice over those cuts after. With the saw, I'm removing material right here, okay? We are removing this material right here. So we're leaving some of this high, some of this low. This will be his eyebrow. So we're gonna leave this behind it kinda high. We'll do the same on the other side. We're gonna come in just a little this way. A little on this side. Let's see here. Can't get that down for you guys. So hopefully you guys are able to catch that. We remove some material and we cut down in. This makes his eyebrows high. So this kind of gives him a concerned look when you bring this one back down just a little. If you leave it, he's just sad. But now he looks a little concerned. He might not look it, but he is, all right? It's just the way it goes. Like I said, next video will be a furring pattern. Now guys, this was the simple one, the easy one, the one you can just practice with your saw. You practice kind of sanding with the saw and those sorts of things. Um, you could skip the whole eyebrow thing and go right into furring. All right, now we want kind of like, fix this here so you guys can see. We kind of want like sharper angles coming in. Okay, so does anybody, show of hands, see the difference with the angle of the eyebrow coming in compared to the one there? So the guy over there who was concerned, the angle of the eyebrow was way out 
and then a sharp down. He is concerned looking. This guy's ticked off, so we angle it in pretty sharp toward the snout. And then the outside we bring down, right? So we have a good angle this way and this way, almost like a V here. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. We'll work from that. Using the nose of the bar to kind of just sand. Okay. So, he looks pretty angry. These are very basic, very simple sort of things. Like, I know some people are going to be like, are you kidding me? This looks horrible. Guys, I'm just giving you ideas and concepts. You've got to be able to practice and go, like, go with it. <clears throat> That's the whole point of some of these videos. Like, they're not for me to be precision and precise for you. They're for me to give you a creative idea and a creative aspect on how to do things. So then you guys can get in there, try out some different stuff. Maybe not cut so deep, maybe cut deeper. You know what I mean? Do it different. A lot of times bears start off this way and you want an expression, but you can't figure out how to do anything else. So we're just playing around basically with eyebrows. All right, that's what we're doing. Now, we will, when we do the snouts on all these guys, we will try to maybe see if we can do snarls or happy face to kind of go with whatever their expression is, or maybe even just a simple mouth. So like I said, that'll probably be the next video. And then we'll do some furring and see where we're at about wrapping these guys up. But all right, so we've got some angry bears. Clean up around your eyebrows. Or one angry bear, I should say. I'm leaving those pretty drastic, but you can come in just below it a little. Just remove some material. Nothing crazy. So once you knock that sharp top corner off though, he starts to not be as angry. So if you take off too much on this side, you're gonna soften him. You keep this hard and this good incline and he still has that mean kind of look. Well, why would you want him to have a mean look? Because some people like bears that say, go away. So if you make a mean go away bear, some people love it. Now let's go ahead and grab the die grinder and just clean this up. All right, flame burr. We're gonna get in here and just sort of round things over and clean it up. You guys gotta do a lot of this by feel, but I'll try to get you some good shots. So with the flame burr, you can cut some lines down, two, three maybe, and then do the same on the other side. So you've got that V going up, and it'll really bring his face in.
Alright, his face starts getting real grumpy looking. Now I don't like make a ton of them all grumpy because a lot of people like cute, cuddly, or friendly kind of bears, but there are the occasional people that want them to look grumpy. So, you know, do one once in a while, why not? hadn't dried for my eye yet. I just put it in there. All right. So there he is, Mr. Angry Pants. Looking all mad. Real attitude problem he's got. All right, dusted him off quick. Hopefully you guys will be able to see what I was talking about, right? So kind of real mean, angry face, okay? If you guys have an idea. All right guys, so this bear had um, some still a little more advanced than the last two, <coughs> but still basic eyes. Now these eyes were carved in with a cross cutter burr from Sabretooth, that's what we used. And we used a sphere burr to kind of gouge them out just a little bit. So if you've made this one, this is the third bear, and you've done these eyes, I assume, that you've got the flame bit, you've got the cross cutter, and you've got the sphere. Okay, so what do we want to do here? What do we want to do with this guy? You know, I'm looking at him. We have quite a bit of room here, right? So we're going to do something fun with the mouth probably on this piece. And then... So let's kind of see what we can do about having a sort of happy looking face. What I want to do is I want to take the sphere first. And I want to round things over. Rounder edges, they usually look happier. Now don't get me wrong, it's tough sometimes to nail down exactly the, the look you want. And I'm just, again, I'm just giving you guys ideas. I know somebody who's been doing this way longer probably laying base me, it's just the way it is, but whatever. <coughs> I wanna start removing some material up here with that sphere above the eyes, just a little. And we're gonna kinda cut in on this side and on this side, just a little, sort of like back here and not so much there. A little bit and a little more. So the motion is up and down and swoop over. Up, down, swoop over like this, okay? That's what we're doing. Right, so it's almost straight down and then it rounds over a little. And we'll keep that roundedness over to here. Okay, so he's more rounded. He's gonna be more cute, cuddly feeling. Hopefully when we do the mouth, he'll have this somewhat happy expression, but we kept the eyebrows high above the eyeball. And we kept the eyebrows kind of thick. So you carve away more here than you do here. You do just a little bit so it defines things, but that's it. They're nice and smooth, right? 
I'm trying to continue to use the same tools we used on each specific bear, right? So everybody in a different category is able to, you know, follow along. All right, we're gonna move into the last style bear. Uh, go for more detail, let's see. All right, guys, so this bear, very much like the last one, we used the cross cutter for here. We used a flame burr to dig some, some eyelids in, which are here. And we haven't done the eyebrows. Now, very, very similar what we're gonna do, again, with the sphere, kind of do that similar, same pattern. And we're gonna try to go a little bit higher than we did with the last one. So what I'm doing here is we're not keeping puffy eyebrows like the last guy. His eyebrows are pretty puffy. I'm bringing these in kind of thin. So we have the eyeball, the eyelid, and thin. Now, if you didn't watch the last video, it really is a good idea to do that so that you understand exactly what I'm talking about with the eyes, you know? Um, but we've rounded these over, right? We just sort of have cleaned, cleaned them up some. Okay, now while you're up there with this style bear, this burr can be used for a lot of things. So we can keep going and kind of put some lines in, which are really gonna help with the look. And we'll kind of focus on this area at the top. So he has a ripply head, okay? That's it. I mean, we're basically, I know it's not like a super crazy in-depth. The bears aren't start to finish. I know there's all kinds of complaints we can have. But honestly, it's playing around with these eyebrows. Once you've already got a piece and you're like, oh, I want to change it to look different. It's playing around with your angles up here, how you do the eyes, how you do these inside cuts. Um, what I would like to do is get into doing like a bear that's happy start to finish. So then the head's carved a bit different and the snout and everything's carved a bit different. Uh, there's different angles we're going to, we would get into, you know what I mean? And we leave more material and spaces to work with. Whereas in this case, we are uh, confined to what's already carved and we're just trying to add to it. All right, guys. So this is the first bear, the simple bear, the basic bear, all chainsaw bear. Now we're going to just go ahead and do the snout in the mouth. I thought I was going to do it in another video, but you know what? Let's just do it in this one and that'll be that. And we'll be on to a furring video. So you want to take your saw, you want to come in low angle. We're angled. We're a pretty good angle with the saw. Move your whole body over to here. All right, so we're just angling in just a touch. Now use the nose of the bar. Just clean it up a touch.
okay? Now, this will be a simple look on this face, all right? We're going for simple, so we're gonna take the saw at a really steep angle again, have good control. That kickback will get you. Come into the other side. Okay, that mouth and that snout are done for our simple bear all chainsaw work. Okay, that's it. We're done with him. Now we will clean up the ears and things like that when we do the furring process. And that's probably when we'll do the nails. So that will be the next video. I know I said something different earlier, but I've changed, changed my mind. All right. Now I don't normally put nostrils in with this style because the saw, you goof up, you just messed up all the work you just did. So I leave them with no nostrils. All right, we just leave it a nice, nice, nice boop right there and a the little boop nose. All right, okay, enough of that. Next bear. All right guys, so like the last bear, we wanna come in steep. Now with an angry bear, normally you want more meat to work with, but again, we're just working with pieces I already carved. We're gonna to try to make this guy grumpy, as grumpy as we can be. Bring that saw in at an angle. I'm gonna to try to just shift the center of the nose over just a touch to one side. And it didn't work out, but I wanna, usually I want a little more steeper on this side than that side. So over here, we're gonna kinda of have that lip snarl. No teeth, just a light snarl. Clean up around it quick. Now you can take the nose of the bar and just run it up and over carefully like you're sanding. So you're kind of like putting ripples in this way. Now, if you have a big enough piece, it works great. In this case, he's so small, I'm having some issues. So we're probably gonna have to use that die grinder. This is why it's tough, for me at least, to get into facial expressions on really small guys using only the chainsaw. A bigger bear, we can do a lot more because you have more wood to work with, or if it's a piece you know what you're gonna do with it, you start off leaving more material to work with later. Now, I do know where the lip and things are gonna be, so before we move into the tool, I wanna come over here with the saw and kinda cut up a little bit. <laughs> So this is high, you want to come low. Cut back. Accidents happen. He don't look happy, he looks pretty ticked off, a little cut here, oops. So this side's high, comes across, and then we're low over here. This will give us that snarl kind of area. All right, so we sort of cleaned it up a little bit so the side sort of tucks up. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the die grinder. Now, if your past just chainsaw work and you have a die grinder and that flame burr, you can do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So let's go in and clean up the mouth first.
All right, and our snout. Now this guy, we can sink some nostrils in. Guys, remember, chaps, gloves, ear protection, eye protection, dust mask, wear all your safety gear, okay? Real quick, in and pull it down. Nostrils are done. Okay, but now we're gonna work on making some ripples right here. So all he's kind of do is snarling this lip up. So it's not a bad idea to cut in here and remove just a little bit more. You gotta just play around with it, guys. You know, like we didn't really plan for this, so it'd be much better with more material, but that's all right. Let's come over here and just sort of clean it up. Right, there's your gur. Now, if you left enough here, you guys could go in, plunge cut, work on cutting teeth and all that, but I'm not gonna do that kind of detail on this guy. Cause there's, again, just not enough material to really do too much. All right. So there he is, he's got a little bit of a snarl face. Now, it is a good idea to cut this at an angle before you, when you do the snout, and there's different cuts we can do. Um, to do that and so we'll probably do a whole nother video of making a snarling bear start to finish again These are just ideas things for you guys to uh, just kind of work on practice on get your Imagination going. Let's move on to the next one All right, so we are on to the third style bear We are gonna kind of just put like a happy face in here And what I want to do is have his tongue sticking out just a little so we're gonna do most of this with saw work Bring the saw in low, cut in the nose. Sand it back. Okay, come in here. We're gonna cut a little high. Now to do that tongue, you see the arch you made? The arch you made here? You wanna cut just a little low. Coming on the side. Let's round things over. Let's 
grab ourselves a die grinder and a saber tooth burr. All right, guys, that flame burr again, what we're gonna get in here and kind of clean up around that tongue. On phase three done with a tongue and a snout right that's it let's get him out move on to the next bear all right guys this is gonna be it and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this guy I almost want to have him smirking just a little bit so he's gonna have kind of a, a smile over here that comes across and sort of like sags down so I kind of like he's got a little smirk so we are going to use the chainsaw on this one. Cut that nose in. Now I'm gonna come up here and start kind of high with the bar and kind of come down. So like he's got a smile up there. <laughs> Tough though, because I would have left different material if I was if I was thinking. So when you keep doing what I did and remove a bunch of material, it's very, very easy to like start screwing things up real quick. So we're gonna try to slim some things back and see if we can get part of the mouth over here, like on the face.
All right, we're gonna move into the die grinder and uh, start cleaning that up. All right, so I cut in, we pulled up and then just cut behind it. Same thing here. Now, if we covered these guys different, we would have left more meat down on the bottom. So we had more to work with for that lower jaw. But now he's got this nice big smile, kind of comes together. If you guys have the material and you can just keep carving, just keep carving, all right? Just keep going. All right, so there's the smiley face. All right, guys, so hit everybody real quick with the torch just so you can see their faces, all right? Kind of surprised. He's still cuddly and cute, right? All chainsaw work, hit with the torch. Chainsaw and a saber tooth burr with wooden beads glued in, a bit of a snarl going, grrr, so his face is all crunched up and wrinkly and snarly. A little bit more of a happy fellow. The ears are laid back a little bit more. He's got a tongue hanging out here, which will be better to see once there's some paint. But he's still got a cute face. And then we got this guy right here. We did a little more work into the eyes and things. Uh, a little bit more on the snout here, and we brought this over onto the cheeks so that he could have a smile coming up now I haven't perfected these guys all right this isn't like I, I, I don't consider myself a pro like you know there's some people that are making all four of these styles way better than this but I'm keeping this very very basic and quick and not spending you know an hour on just like focusing on one thing I want to be able to give everybody some ideas and some different things that are carving at different levels and honestly mostly for 
beginners, newbies, people that are just starting out. Because honestly, I really want to see you succeed in this art and have fun with it. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for me, guys. When you guys hit subscribe, hit that bell, hit all, turn on your notifications so you guys don't miss any future uploads. Check out some of my merch in the bar down below the video. Go there, buy some merch, help support the channel, plus rock some gear, right? Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Check out some others popping up, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. See you in the next video. Bye.